Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, another episode of... How many times do I have to tell you, Gamza? Stop making the videos about the 3D printers. I already get it. <laughs> I'll make any video I damn well please, kid. Don't speak to me like I'm your effeminate father who gets bossed around by his overweight wife. Oh, perhaps that hits a little too close to home. Oh. Anyways... So today, we are going to be talking about all those little nerds that like to jump in and leave comments along the lines of, Uh, actually, Gabza, you're not including the cost of the alcohol, the electricity, and the gloves, and all the other things for the resin 3D printers, so your pricing videos are actually not very true. <laughs> yeah, right, kid. Shut the hell up. We're going to address that here today and talk about how dumb these 3D printer haters really are. Now, without further ado, I also have to shill for my Patreon, so please have a listen. Introducing Commissar Gamza's Patreon! Damn you, Gamza, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Haha, <laughs> that's right. For $15 a month, you will receive an initial welcome package of STL files that includes a set of 10 city-ruined themed bases at 32 millimeter, then a complete army set of Xeno-themed bases ranging from 25 millimeter all the way up to 90 millimeter, and then Every month, new STL files for 3D printing will be released for you to download. And this month's STL file release, which is for February of 2022, is this tank that comes with many different upgrades, more than what you see here. Now that's a really damn good deal. However, we ain't even finished yet. You will also get exclusive voting rights to vote on what videos you guys want next. Do you want trash terrain? Do you want could they survive? Do you want a specific topic? Only you get to vote and choose what you want. All of that for $15 a month. This tier is going to be exclusive and limited. Only 1,000 people can join. After that, it's over. All right, boys. So time and time again, whenever I make these videos comparing about 3D printer prices of what some official companies will charge, and then what you could 3D print in a general area of the same type of proxy model, there's always going to be some ridiculous little nerd who just cannot stand the fact that he's been ripped off for thousands of dollars, who jumps into the comments section and says such wildly pathetic soy boy things along the lines of, uh, you didn't include the price of the nitrile gloves that you have to put on when it comes to 3D printing games. Uh, <laughs> checkmate, looks like I would again. Yeah, you did win. Congratulations on first place loser. Okay, so here's the deal. This is basically the way that it works. Whenever I do these price comparisons, I ask the person themselves to include the cost for the resin that they've purchased. I'm not gonna ask them to start adding in the nitrile gloves, the alcohol. Here's the thing, not even not everybody even uses nitrile gloves or even alcohol. They can use different things to clean their resin prints. Why on earth am I then gonna have so many different variables that I'm trying to calculate into this tiny little 50 cent model? You are ridiculous. Not to mention, how many times do you have a model? Let's say you buy something from Games Workshop because you're an idiot. And I go, hey, Bob, tell me, how much did that little Lieutenant Primaris cost you? You know, the 69th Lieutenant that you've purchased, because you're an idiot! And you're sitting here over, Oh, well, I spent about uh, $30 on this Primaris Lieutenant because he's just so unique from the last one. Oh, Gamza, you're such a hater. Look at the quality of this Primaris Lieutenant. Uh Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, you were a pushover in high school, and now you're a pushover on Games Workshop's website. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't sit here and then go, oh, it wasn't $30. You didn't include the price of the $30 paintbrush that you also had to buy from Games Workshop or their $1,000 super glue that you also had to purchase to put that model together because you can't use any other super glue, can you? Or your, I don't know, $17 can of spray primer. I didn't include all those other things in that price. Why? Because I'm not a pushover over nerd like you are. However, when it comes to 3D printing, you can't stand the fact that you have been ripped off and you are a pushover in high school and you are a pushover as an adult. And when you go to Games Workshop's website, you feel that the only way to be a man is to empty your wallet. It's the same thing when it comes to women. The only way that you can feel like a man is to empty your wallet to her. You know, it's kind of the same thing. Games Workshop is basically like your prostitute and you feel that in order to get attention and to feel manly, you got to give it money. And so you do. And thus you remain a loser. Now, when I ask for prices, when it comes to to 3D printing, I ask the people for basic questions, and that is this. How much 
did it cost for you when it came to resin prices? I'm not going to ask them, hey, did you use nitrile gloves? And if you did, how much did they cost? <laughs> did you use a mask? And if you did use a mask, how much did it cost you? That is such BS. And you are an idiot if you think that I'm going to include those prices. We're asking how much did it cost to 3D print the model? We are not asking how much did it cost to buy the printer, to print the model, to clean the model, to paint the model, to assemble the model, and to sell it on eBay or how much did the listing cost and everything else. You have to include all that in there. Let's take it from your point of view. If I was as dumb as you, let's, where's the stopping point? Where does it begin and where does it end? How about this? In order for you to buy a 3D printer, you also have to have a house. So why don't we include the price of the house as well? Uh-oh, looks like having a 3D printer costs you like, what, half a million dollars? How much is your house worth? Let's take your mortgage, your monthly plan, and let's include that in on the 3D printer because how are you going to 3D print if you don't have a house? What about your car to go buy supplies? What about your clothes that you have to wear when you actually go out to the store and go buy your shit? Are we going to include all those costs as well? I thought we needed to include that, didn't we? How about I include the cost? of your shoes to go walk to your mailbox to go check your new Amazon order, you idiot. This is where, where does it end? Where does it begin and where does it end? You guys are not satisfied with what you're doing in life and you gotta tear somebody else down because you cannot stand the fact that 3D printing is the future and you're not included in it because you're being left behind because all you can do is cling desperately by your long, untrimmed, nasty fingernails as you're clinging to Games Workshop going, please, please validate me. I just want to be a part of the crew. Aren't I cool? Wow, look at the new release. It's so amazing. I, I, I hate Gamza. Gamza's a hater because he doesn't understand the supreme quality of Games Workshop. And I love it so much. Yeah. I'm not gonna include myself in on that garbage, okay? So don't think that I'm gonna make videos with 3D printing costs, and I'm gonna sit here and go, hey, where's your nitrile gloves? I think I need to include that. Okay, so this model exactly cost, uh, you know, $700,000 because I had to include the price of the house, the car, uh, his wife, and all the other shit that's involved in it. Oh, he's also got kids as well, and so he's 3D printing for his son, and I also need to include the prices of his son and the diapers and the formula and all the other shit. It's ridiculous. So the answer to you is is no, I'm never gonna include those prices. If I say that this model costs exactly $1 to print, then it has exactly what it costs in resin to print that model. $1, you just can't get a hold of it. And even if I did, you know, this is how stupid that this is. Okay, let's take like some crazy captain or whatever. Let's say from Forge World, what was that one demon guy that came out that was like of the word bearers? The dude was like, what, 70 something dollars for that model? Let's say I printed something of the equivalent size, all right? We're not duplicating the model, but we're, we're printing something of the equivalent size. Now, I sit back and I calculate the price and I go, okay, it cost me about 50 cents worth of resin, which it probably wouldn't even cost that much. But let's go ahead and go down that direction because you want to make it as expensive as you possibly can. So that way you can justify your poor choices in life. Now, let's say 50 cents in resin and then I bought a 100 pack of nitrile gloves and I'm sitting here going, well, I have to include, you know, one price of nitrile gloves and this is how much I cost. So at the end of the day, it cost me 10 cents to have these nitrile gloves. Okay, so now it's costing 60 cents to print the guy. Oh, excuse me. I actually used, uh, you know, I don't know, half a cup of, uh, alcohol in order to clean the print. Oh, okay. So let's include that price as well. All right. It adds another 10 cents. Now we're up to 70 cents. Is that really going to satisfy you? Oh, Gamza, you're not including the electricity price. Ha <laughs> you idiot. Oh, okay. And then we're just going to keep going further and further and further. What about the rent? You don't have a 3D printer and you're not 3D printing anything if you don't even have a house. So let's, let's just throw that in there too, right? But you know what? You couldn't go get that alcohol because you actually needed a vehicle to go drive to the store because you're too fat and lazy to actually walk. So now we have to include the price of the car and then the monthly insurance and how long you've had it and all these other th different things ridiculous we're never going to do that you are just a sore loser congratulations on first place loser now i'm going to finish it up with this because i don't like to just tear people down i also like to grab you by the hand and pull you out of that water and go hey it's time for you to stop drowning in your own stupidity i have a patreon and you can go buy yourself any kind of a 3d printer that you want that is resin so that way you can have good quality with it go out there go do your research i have reviews of 3d printers if you actually want to go see what you can buy or some of the options not all of them but some some of the options that are out there. Now, if you want, sign up for my Patreon for $15. There you go. You're going to get a lot of different STLs that you can print out and create your own armies and play them in any game that you want. Or you can resize them, make them huge tanks, small tanks, small soldiers, big soldiers, put them on your uh, desk, your, your counters, whatever you want. Put them on your shelves, display them. It does not matter. The whole point is I am giving you a way out. I am showing you a better way to conduct yourself instead of this embarrassment that you have built up upon yourself. All right. So I'm 
I'm not just tearing you down. I'm also building you up. You have a way out and I'm giving it to you. It's up to you to take it. And if you cannot afford $15, I have some heart to heart talk that I want to tell you here and now. Get off of YouTube. You have no business being on YouTube if you cannot afford $15. There are bigger issues in life than tabletop miniatures, 3D printing, YouTube. If you cannot afford $15, I understand inflation and all the other shit out there. There are better things for you to focus and put your time into than 3D printing. Don't even worry about my Patreon or anything else. If you cannot afford $15, get off of YouTube. Go get a second job. Go get a third job. Put your pride away. Go work at Burger King, McDonald's. Go do something. Now, with that being said, God bless you and your family. This video, it's done.